All right, guys, in today's video, we're talking about how to slow down to start your downswing, how to do it, and why it's gonna be a huge benefit for you. We're back with Mr. Trevor Salzman. Uh, if you didn't see the first video, I highly suggest you go back and watch that. But either way, in this video, we're talking about how to slow down. So Trevor, why don't we give um, the, the golfers here watching, kind of talk them through a little bit of what we're talking about, why it's important, and then how they can start to uh, process it in their swing. And I know you and I, this is something we both have been working on in our own swings. Absolutely. So we can hit some shots and kind of talk through that as well. So like, why do we want to slow down? What do the normal amateurs do? Uh, so I would say the normal amateurs, what they do from the top of their swing, like we said in the first video, is their first speed lever that they try and access and create would be hand speed or arm speed, one of mm. those two. And the problem with that is how much faster the arms have the ability to move than what the actual body does. So the one thing about that we need to understand in regards to anatomy is our muscles go through certain phases. We've got three different phases that we go through in regards to muscle groups. We've got relaxing, which is just kind of hanging out right here. We've got expanding or stretching. Okay? And that's the biggest phase that I would say most people don't access. The phase that everybody likes to access is contraction. Mm. Okay, so they access contraction early in their downswing and then we end up skipping out on the ability to expand and stretch muscles which creates more of a natural speed. And then we can save that contraction phase for impact or just after impact, if that makes sense. Okay. So I see players, they always get up here and they might be relaxed. And this is like one of my biggest issues I've struggled with my whole life is like, so if I hit this ball right here and I'm gonna show you the wrong way, I'm gonna go up to the top and if I come down fast, I get stuck yeah. under here, okay? Yeah, and so right. I thinned it, I feel like my shoulders are up in my ear. It's like, there's nothing that felt good about that right there. Okay, so I skipped out on one of the biggest speed levers in my golf swing, which is actually stretching, and that's because I didn't allow my arms and hands to actually slow down. Mm -hmm. So the easiest way for you to understand this is a pendulum. Okay, so we have a pendulum. So right here, if I just start here with a pendulum and I let and I start to swing this, okay, it starts in an acceleration, and then it looks like it moves into a de deceleration up here before it starts to re-accelerate, okay? And so just understanding that, that's just basic transfer of energy right there. So what I always try and get players to do and what I use this G-Box for with this horse whip, is so like when I hit one right here, I'm gonna feel like I'm actually giving my arms and hands time to slow down, which allows my body now to start changing direction, open up, and it also puts my muscles in more of a stretching phase which creates a lot more natural speed, if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And what, two quick points on that. One is, um, you had mentioned before, just to give them a general idea of like how fast the body's moving versus the arms, like yeah. the miles per hour. Mm -hmm. what, what were those sort of ratios? So the ratio in the easiest math is in a 100 mile an hour golf swing. I heard this from George Gankus and Chris Como. Uh, the body moves five miles an hour. That's mind blowing, mind blowing that your yeah. body's only moving five miles an hour to produce a hundred mile an hour speed. And now the arms move 30 miles an hour. So that mm. ratio is six to one. The so, arms are going six times as fast as the body. Bingo. So how much earlier do I have to start feeling like I'm getting body movements to get out of the way so that my arms don't beat it? Shoot, it feels like it's the first time I did, it feels like I'm moving a hundred times earlier. Yes before my arms ever start moving. Or I might need, I might not ever feel like I access arm speed at all in the beginning when I'm trying to learn something like this. And part of the thing Trevor and I were talking and why this is so important, if your body's, let's just say, going six times as fast as your arms, and a lot of people come in to us and say, hey, how do I get more rotation? How do I get more open? Well, right, think about that already. If, you're, if the arms are going six times as fast, I don't know if I said the wrong way, but the arms are going six times as fast as the body. If you want more rotation, you need time to rotate. You need time to rotate. And so part of slowing down the arms, it's like a race, right? It's like a race between the arms and a race between the body. If you want more rotation, that means you want the body to be winning that race. Yep. It's already at such a huge deficit with those miles per hour. And that's why for a lot of us needs to feel as though the arms are slowing down and almost doing nothing. And then when you add a little on top of that, which is that most golfers, and this might be you, 
either intentionally, some people intentionally not, really trying to go fast, yeah. it's like a double whammy. And so just from like an important standpoint of why this that makes so much sense. And I, I wanna hit some with this, Trevor. Yeah, absolutely. And you to hit some too as we go through just to explain the feels. Because I have the same things where I need to feel super exaggerated with that. And this and this is where I really I do I sympathize with amateur golfers is because when you're at the top and you're doing this, this feels like a crazy amount of speed. Yeah. But what you're doing is you're starting out at such a high rate that you're accelerating so fast here that by the time you've reached max speed here now, the only thing the club is doing is it's actually working into a deceleration from that speed that you got to. So yeah. you might be swinging at 100 miles an hour, but you're decelerating to that 100 miles an hour. There's a way different type of impact when something's slowing down to 100 versus speeding up to 100. Yep. And so this is where we do, we have to feel like we slow the arms down. So one of the ways that I really like to do this as a drill is I literally feel like if my arms and my hands, if they were a light switch, if I could go on and off, I'm gonna start out with them right here. I start out with them on, and I feel like right here, I just turn them off and I just move the body, and wherever the club goes, I just let it go. Okay. So I have to, a lot of times I'd say is I feel like I'm losing control initially in order for me to gain control where I want to gain control. And this mm. is where players, when you do this, if you go at the speed of light, I wish you the best of luck. Because yeah. you're, you're hoping and guessing. Yeah. There's a lot of crap that I've hoped for in my life. So, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, literally, forget about the golf ball. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one of these live right here where I'm going to completely forget about the golf ball. I might hit right here. I might top it. I might shank it. I don't know where this golf ball is going to go, but I'm going to lose all control of what I do. If I hit it great, so be it. So this is gonna be me really feeling like I'm actually decelerating my arms and hands at the top so that I can get this G-box out of the way here early. So this is what this would look like. Like so the like, arms and hands are literally doing nothing. Did absolutely nothing. So the phase that I actually missed out on right there in regards to what we talked about relaxing expanding or stretching and contracting, I had zero contraction in that golf swing. There was zero, zero tension that I ever felt in my arms and my hands. So if I do one, one more of those again, I'm gonna make sure I feel like this gets out of the way. My arms are basically turned off, my arms and hands, and I'm here. And that's what that would look like right there. And for most of you watching, if you did that and tried that, it's gonna, and that's hard to give up control. It is. Because one of the things with this, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, we wanna get control, feel this, get control, feel this, get control, feel this. But a lot of those uh, things should happen as a, a lot of the good things went in the downswing. Yeah. Should happen as a natural byproduct of, of these other things, which is a different conversation to be had. But the point is letting, letting um, giving up control to get control. Let's pause for a second. I'm gonna pop that on and I'm gonna hit some as well with that. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna give this a try. I hit one uh, after our last video, so I have a general idea of what this is gonna feel like. But with this, with the G-Box, it's nice. We have the, the stick here in front, so I have a literal thing for me to, to miss, but also a great visual. It's a great visual awareness. Yeah, it's a really good visual. If you don't have this, you know, a Trevor did a video where you can kind of put a, a alignment rod through the side, potentially, or at least just give yourself a visual of it. But I'm gonna feel the same things where I go back and the arms are essentially off here. And for me, because I need some of the increase of rotation and separation we talked about. Yeah. I very consciously am feeling this stick kind of working counterclockwise around yeah, behind you, me. Almost back towards where the center of your feet is, like as an exaggeration. You're trying to work that back around towards the center of your feet. Yeah. And here's a good one too, right? So as I'm doing this, my arms are obviously lowering. Yep. Yet I'm trying to feel like they do nothing. Right? Correct. In this particular one, I'm not feeling like I'm, I'm keeping them up anywhere. I'm just feeling like they're doing nothing. But the point is they're not having to come down by me feeling like I'm yanking them down. Bingo. So I'm feeling like as I come around here, like literally right there, they just dropped, what, a foot? Yeah. And I'm all that was was my pelvis. Me feeling my pelvis, which brings my rib cage, which brings my shoulder down. Yep. So let me do one or two of these. I feel like they turn off. And I'm going to probably feel like just because I'm so used to it, I kind of put the gas on a little through impact. Like yep. I know I'm going to do that a little bit. You're good. You're but good. I'll try and feel like they go. Car and arms stay back, and the pelvis is working around, slowing down the arms. So I mean, that for me felt like, again, literally they did nothing. Now because I come from, like Trevor said, 
definitely a, I'm very much on the side of like, let's get going. You yep. know? It needs to feel so much like I'm doing nothing just to get to normal. A great, another great way of saying it is, I want you to make the longest golf swing that you can make rotationally and hit the golf ball the shortest distance you can hit mm. it. You can feel this is what I want you to do is make the longest swing that you can make and hit the golf ball the shortest distance you could possibly hit it. That, that mm. way you're not going to access as much arm speed right there. Yeah, that feels good. Like that, that uh, which is not necessarily the, the point of what that is, but it's like, that feels good, natural, athletic, uh, and easy to do even though I'm feeling like I'm exaggerating it. So I'm not trying to create a bunch of speed with my arms and hands for the first initial part of the downswing. You know, and I don't want to go on a huge tangent here, but I'm sure, you know, the hands do create speed. Absolutely. So they, don't. they do create speed. What we're saying is you feel like they slow them down, let the body create. They're the just going to be the last thing to create speed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that feels really good. And now you're getting, now you're getting crazy open. And so that all this is, this is getting you to sequence body movements in the proper order in a rotational sport that we are living in. I think that wraps that up beautifully. Slowing down the arms and hands to start the downswing. Uh, good for certainly the greater majority of you watching this. Using drills like this to be able to, be able to feel it, right? And there's different ways to do it, but hopefully that gives you good concepts, good feels. If you wanna have more rotation, you're not gonna get that by speeding up the arms. You might get that by slowing down the arms, right? Changing Bingo. the race. So. Uh, Trevor, as always, appreciate you being here, dude. Absolutely. If you guys want to contact Trevor, we're going to put his info down in the description down below. In-person lessons, online lessons, we'll put all that stuff down below. Thank you guys for watching.